So when I was in high school and even college, uh, I was actually not that interested in science. Um, I'm a late bloomer, took a long path, I'll get into that another time. Um, but uh, as I've alluded to now, I'm very interested in science. So what changed? Um, while I've had a lot of good science teachers, um, in academics, a lot of times, uh, especially in, in, in high school and before, you're taught a lot about the knowledge that is gained from science. And while that's important, you know, it's, it's the most useful thing to, to get at the answers, um, it, it, it may not be the most interesting or the coolest part about it. In my opinion, a lot of the coolest part about science is really the techniques and the technologies that are used in order to get at those answers. Right? Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the objectively coolest cell in the body, the neuron. Right? So this is my diagram of neuron, cell body, axon, and the way a neuron works is so they are electric. Right? Um, they communicate with each other through electricity. Neurons upstream of them send signals that bind to channels, right? They're neurotransmitters bind to channels in the membrane of neurons that let in and out positive and negative charge. And this neuron, when these channels get bound and the charge goes up, the voltage goes up, this neuron senses that voltage and it interprets that as saying, oh, my voltage is so high, I need to fire an action potential. I need to do my thing. Action potentials are what neurons do. It's the fundamental job of a neuron, right? It's its word. It says, hey. So it raises, so uh, neurons fire on it. It says, hey, my charge is going up. I need to fire. Um, it changes its voltage through other channels down on it, and it fires this spike in voltage all the way down until it releases its neurotransmitter onto the neurons downstream of it, all right? That's called an action potential, all right? It's the basic, uh, you know, word or job of a neuron. And so uh, one interesting technique that we use to study neurons and to study their action potentials and what they do uh, is something called optogenetics. Now, optogenetics, so light opto, uh, is when we actually insert our own man-made channels into the membranes of neurons, and instead of responding to other neurons, neuron tr neurotransmitters, these optogenetic channels respond to light, right? So if we shine, uh, so it only responds to a specific wavelength of light or a color of light. So if we shine green light onto a green light specific optogenetic channel, that causes the channel to open, lets in charge, the neuron only knows how to interpret charge. And so it says, oh, my charge is going up, my voltage is going up, it's time for me to fire an action potential. And it does its job. Except it's not being told to do it by other neurons, it's being told to do us by, told to do this by us, the experimenter, all right? This is how, there is one of the many ways we study how neurons work. So we can, uh, cause certain groups of neurons in certain parts of brains to express these channels so that when we shine light on them experimentally, um, we can see, okay, what happens when these neurons do their job, when they turn on or they turn off? Um, and I just think that's super cool. It's one of my favorite techniques uh, and wanted to talk about it for a second.